Hey everybody, Joby Mihal here, and welcome to another professional unboxing. Now, for you that don't know, I don't script anything, so there's nothing's pre pre-written or rehearsed in anything I do. That makes the professional quality of my videos. Second of all, 99% of the stuff I'm unboxing, very few things I've unboxed so far, are all, you know, I'm just seeing them for the first time. This is Metal Gear Rising. First, we'll notice, I love the artwork here and here. I just think it looks badass. And this is just standard. A little story about this, uh, I'm looking for something. Here, this is a toy duck. The toy duck's pretty big. It's not as big as this box. Here, there's my hand. My hand's average sized. Okay, anyways. The whole reason why I wanted to get this game is I saw a trailer many moons ago of this guy cutting watermelons up. Yes, watermelons. I don't know why that intrigued me so much, but that's my entire reason. That's the only thing I've seen in it, and that's my, my entire reasoning in getting this. Uh, I. How do you open it? Oh, there's security tags on it. <sighs> The thing that you get in here, I know what you get in the in the collector's edition. Um, if it's the size of the box, that's pretty awesome. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this, so that's always good. Now, am I doing this right? I am doing it right. It's like they made this for unboxing. They, they did make this for unboxing. So, let me just check the camera. Yeah, you can see that good enough. You get... Oh, this comes right up. We'll look at that in a second. The game and a steel book. Uh, you know what? The steel book is fairly nice. Uh, you know, classic artwork. Just a steel book. You can put your game in there if you want. I don't understand why you include steel books without anything in it, though. Like, put like a making of DVD. They did that with Nino Cooney, too. A very nice steel book, but. Why would you put your games in it? I don't understand. Oh, warning instructions. Don't kill yourself. So it looks like this thing is the size of the box, and that's badass. That's badass. You're greeted with this awesome artwork. This was actually painted or spray painted on a wall somewhere. Looked pretty nice. I'm gonna do this professionally and turn it away from the camera because that's how we all do it. I say this like I'm a professional at anything. I'm not a professional at anything. Anyways. There's the box. Inside the box, boxception. That's not overdone or old, okay? Uh, yeah, pretty nice. I like plain shit like this. I think this looks, I, I don't know, I really like that. Uh, and then these, uh, Japanese or Chinese, I don't know what they are, they don't know what they say. It's probably Metal Gear Rising, yeah, that's what we're playing. And you take off the sleeve, and inside the sleeve you have another box. I love this. So in here, I thought that... Anyways, we'll open this up. This is the whole point of the collector's edition. I almost didn't get this, almost, but then I was like, it looked pretty badass. So I bought it, and, and I don't regret a thing. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. No, that's the only thing that's in there. Why is that? Is That must be from the glue. Where I used to work, our packaging team that I led to victory used glue and it sometimes turned yellow like that, I guess. I don't know. It's not like the light's on or anything. Spoiler alert. It's a light. Oh jeez. Should have made this open up the same way the other thing did. Wow. It's uh, it's magnificent. You can't see it yet. Oh, here you go. That's what you get. What else is in here? What else is in here? There's something else in here. What is that? Maybe it's just a box. No, it's the plug. It, yeah. I'm an idiot. There we go. We're making progress. Okay, good. I didn't want to take that out anyway. And in this little box, the most exciting thing, the power cord. 
Nice, there's a plug-in right there. Okay. So now we know what this, that this bag is not a toy. I repeat, this bag is not a toy. I'm hoping this thing is in focus. Whatever. Uh, let me just take a look at it. It's supposed to be this way. It says Metal Gear Rising right here. This is the guy's blade. This guy. I'm not really into the Metal Gear fran franchise. I played the Nintendo one and a couple on the PS1. But, uh, and I had Metal Gear uh, Solid 4 for the PS3. Started doing Let's Play, but I failed. Because Konami's like, don't you, don't you. I wish your girlfriend was hot like me. This thing is pretty badass. Uh, I don't want to, I'm not going to. I'll take some pictures and put them at the end of everything. Just this, actually, because that, that's not important. Um, no art book or anything, though. That's surprising. I'm guessing this is just a game, yeah. Thought it came with, uh, with more than that. Anyways, I will uh, see you guys uno momento. Ooh, isn't the suspense killing you? Now, it says reading, you're supposed to read the stupid pamphlet or something before you turn the light on. It's a freaking light. What is there to read? Hopefully I don't die. Whoa. That's amazing. I like shiny things, I like lights. I don't know if you can see. I'm sure you can. I'm gonna try zooming in a little bit here. Metal Gear Rising, um, maybe putting on a glass table is a bad move. It's all lit up. That's a friggin' sick light. This is the sword, like I said, the guy uses in the game. I, I don't really know his name. I, I don't want to touch it. Should I touch it? I'm touching it. Maybe you're not supposed to touch it, though. I know, these lights you, sh you should be able to touch. But anyways, that is it. That's badass. I'm not going to take pictures. I said I was going to take pictures. This is worth more than pictures. Just look at that. I'll try to get a better zoom in. Let's take this off the tripod. What do I think I am? Professional? Nope. Is it going to zoom in? Oh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, oh, that's so good. So that is. Well, it's gonna have trouble focusing here. Anyway, here is Metal Gear Rising. And, uh. I'm pretty certain that this will be my next Let's Play. My next big Let's Play. Apparently, the game's like six or seven hours long. So it's perfect. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. And I'll see y'all again next time.